period of time, right? Yep, there he is. Where's the tiny horn hornworm? Right this one. here. Sorry, I can't see him at all, so. Right there. It's between our fingers. Okay, gotcha. And then what you do is? Pick it off. Pick it off. Squeeze it. Just a little <laughs> <laughs> So then just because there's one, tomato <laughs> you want to look over the, typically they will be on the lower portion to about halfway at this stage. As they get bigger, they will move up the plant. As they get bigger too, when you, when you come and look for them, instead of seeing a leaf like this, uh -huh. you'll see a branch like that. You mean that it took a whole branch out? That that all the leaves on the branch will be eaten. And then you just have to follow it. Also, the other thing to look for is look on the leaves and you'll find, when they get bigger, you'll find frass. And it tends to be about that big. Frass? Brown, green. Poop. Poop. <laughs> and um, Frass is hornworm poop. So New when word, you see people. It, if you see it, like if I saw it here, I'd look up here on these branches for it. Oh, right. Okay. Yep. Also, you need to look at the tomatoes because they will eat the green tomatoes. Ah, so if they I have like a, a whole chewed out of day. it. Exactly. Uh, unfortunately, hornworms are much more time consuming because you've really got to go down one side and they'll go down the other side. And, and look very carefully because if you miss one overnight it will take out a branch or two when they get bigger so it seems like it's worth like picking up the branches except that I just took a bit of leaf off like to look underneath well if, if you don't see a hole there, there isn't gonna I mean there could be one that's just getting started are there eggs of them that we can find? Um, I have never found an egg. This is the one that... Wait, no. That is the one that Ned said. It's a potato leaf. Yeah, interesting. Kind of different from... Well, definitely different from the little one.